Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. Uh, this time we're going to start with uh, Sector 13 Ciphers. And I already realized that there's only four tasks here. So let's see how quickly we can finish this sector. First task. We get in a string and we're supposed to return a string that is apparently built from a char array. So we probably just translate this string to something else. And since this is called ciphers, it might well be that we have some kind of a Caesar code here. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 7, um, shifted by 7. So maybe if I just take a loop. 0 to s dot, how is it called, uh, length, thanks, it's uh, in the line above, i++, plus plus, and then we just assign to c i s char at i, let's see how, how we have to cast that. I guess it's sufficient to do something like this, but we'll find out. So I'm just taking the character at the position, adding 7 to the value, and then casting this back, and I guess what I get from the result, so it works for the A to H, but for T it should be um, like wrap around back to A, but apparently, or it doesn't because I did not implement it. So what's missing here is a modulo, is a modulo. Uh, problem is that the character, uh, it doesn't start from zero. So we have to subtract the A, um, a value which is 68 or something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we have this one, minus 68. As it is, if I'm right with the 68, it should be the same as before. But apparently I'm not right. Um, 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 how do I do that? It would be so much easier if I had debug around. Yeah, come on, stop the compilation. Um, let me just check that quickly. So we have an ASCII table. Where's the A? This small A is... Oh, I'm too lazy to compute that. Images, give me some readable ASCII table like this one. Small a is on 97. 97, uh, the 60 something with the big letters, so it's 97. So minus. 97 minus 97 then plus 7 means minus 90 uh, modulo 26 plus 97 should be it and then we cast that back so let's see if that works. Works for the A cases as it did before. Interesting question is, does it work for the T case that should be wrapped around uh, the test case that did not work last time or for any of the other cases? Why does it take so long? It generated these cases faster the last time. But I'm no, I'm not saying that I'm confident. Every time I say I'm confident that something will work, it turns out that it doesn't. 
So I just shut my mouth and wait for um, the code time tool to symbolically execute that. And turns out I could have posted because it works and give me full skill points for this task. Let's go on to the next one. So again we have a quite similar setup. This time we have it with numbers and yeah, while guests just do the same. We just we do the numbers start on the ASCII table. They start at 48. So let's do the same thing with 48 and 10 because there's 10 numbers. Um, just while guessing here, of course. But sometimes that's what it takes. So integer ci is s char at um, i. I want to subtract, what did I say, 48, I think. 48, since I shift by 3, let's do it with 45. Then we calculate modulo 10 and then plus 48 again. And then we say char, or not char, ci equals char ci. If it's really the same, same pattern. In fact, turns out it's not B, C, D, so it's shift by 3 is right, but the um, apparently the limit is something else, so it's not only the numbers. Let me recheck our table. So it's 9, then there's the numbers coming behind that on this spot. So it might be that we have from 48 to, let's say, 90, which is uh, 42, I think. 42, sounds nice, I like 42. So, 42, let's see what happens. So I just picked a bigger frame, but apparently from a small X I wrap around to something like big Q, but it should be brace. So let's see where's the curly braces. Curly braces is actually somewhere down here. So I should not wrap around at all, maybe, or only at um, after the 125 or 26. So let's just let's just remove the the wrapping around, maybe. So how about just saying plus three here? Oh, no, I messed up the braces here. So just shifting by three and let's see if there's something in the end that should be wrapped around. Okay, so I should wrap around from the pipe to zero, which means this one, one, two, three. So if it really starts at 48, then I should include the 126, which means 18, 8, 89, uh, 87, right? Let's try it out. Uh, other way around, 78. 78. Let's see if I computed that correctly. It might be that I miscomputed in my head. Offset by 1. It's expected 2, 3, so it's apparently um, 79. Right? 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 Come on, please. Works for the initial two test cases still. Not that much of a surprise. Hopefully it also works for the other test cases that should be there. Otherwise we still have some indexing problems here. And I would not really see where. So let's hope that this works out for me. And let's hope for a good skill rating on this task.
which is not that improbable because we got the, f the full skill rating for the same solution scheme in the last task and normally if a solution scheme works once it works again and in fact it works and gives the full skill rating so that is the solution for this task very nice this is it for today thanks a lot for watching if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if not drop me a comment or send me a message let me know what you think and have a look at my channel and the other things i'm doing maybe there's something interesting for you so this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time